Hey, y'all. Hey. Uh, hey. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Simmons. These are my co-hosts, Ursula D. Allen, Margaret Green, and Shanita J. Montgomery. Welcome Hello. to Inspirational Talks with Laura Simmons and friends. We are in the building, y'all. Mm. So how's everybody house. doing? I'm doing great. Good. Good, good, good. How are you? I'm 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 good. I can't complain. I'm I'm good. I was going through a little depression today, but I'm okay now. I'm okay. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I want to first of all, I want to start off by saying um, I want to thank uh, Praise Painting by Design out in South Carolina for sponsoring tonight's show. So, <sighs> okay, people, we're going to get started with our Black History for today. We got Miss Shanita J. Come on with it, baby girl. Hey everybody. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Don Mercer Langston. I know we all have heard of Langston Hughes, mm -hmm. but believe it or not, Don Mercer Langston was his uncle. He was actually a member of the U.S. House of Rep Representatives in Virginia. Um, he started his career in Ohio as one of the freedom uh, riders, uh, people to uh, go for or come into like freedom and um, freeing slaves. He was born free um, in December of night. I'm sorry, 1829, December 14th to be exact. Um, he was an abolitionist, an attorney, education educator, and um, a dip diplomat and politician. Um, he was also the dean at the university uh, at Howard University, and um, the president, Ulysses Grant, appointed him a member of the Board of Health in the District of Columbia. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's show his picture. Very let's active. get his picture on the uh, screen so people know who we who you were talking about. Let's get him on here. Um, where you at, man? <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. That's a very serious <laughs> picture. There he yes. is. John Mercer Langston. Wow. Yeah. So that's our Black history for today. Right? Wow. Yeah, okay. we don't typically hear. We hear about, you know, we have kind of like a set category. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd bring something different out the bag there. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Shanita, you want to um, tell people about, uh, oh, before you get started, I wanted to say this because um, I thought that this was perfect. This is a perfect blend for what you're getting ready to talk about your own business. So I don't know if you guys heard, but they were saying that um, Bath and Body Works was putting African prints and patterns on products that's already in existence. And they're, um, and that's, they call in that celebrating Black History Month. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. So, you yeah, know, and I was, word. yeah, and I was thinking to myself that, here we have a young black African-American uh, entrepreneur who is basically creating candles and things like that. But she's, um, you know, they're, they're, they're using someone else, though. They're using another product of somebody else that, you know, um, which probably is not an African-American product to begin mm -hmm. with. They're exactly. probably using something. Just a big name. Right, right. It's like they did so, with Shea Butter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what they doing right now. So I'm just uh, suggesting to um, Bath and Body Works that you guys might want to check out Miss Shanita J's products. Okay. Put it in the print here, okay. so that um, you guys can check her website out, and maybe you guys, when you want some African American um, products. products, they can. Um, seek this young lady out. So tell people a little bit about your product, Shanita J, so that um, I'm going to put it into the comments for people to know about your product. Sure. Um, I am the owner and creator of Central Salts and Scents. Um, I make not only candles, but bath salts. Um, it, my whole purpose of making these products was to like, I know when I want to wind down and relax, you know, and take a good bath, I want to put a candle on and just relax and just feel, you know, just loose. You know what I mean? 
So mm -hmm. um, I decided, well, first of all, I decided to do the bath salts because I can't just use any kind of product, you know. Um, so I created the bath salts. Th that would be something that it'll, it won't throw off your lady parts, you know. Sometimes you, you can't use everything because sometimes a product will say, you know, it's natural, but it, it really isn't. And, you, you know, you have problems later. So oh, yeah. I definitely made it a point to create something because I started out just doing it for myself because I know I can't just buy products. And I was like, okay, this is pretty good. Um, I would feel relaxed and would enjoy my baths, but um, I didn't have any issues at, at all. Um, okay. So then I thought about it some more. So I said, well, let me try to help other women who can't use any kind of product or bath bomb, so to speak. I haven't, I haven't touched that realm yet, but um, bath salts are definitely, you know, great and, and it works perfectly fine. And then I started making candles. Um, in the beginning, I did kind of like sense to cater towards like relaxation, but um, I kind of just did a whole relaunch with like more vibrant smells, but not too overwhelming to where it's going to give you a headache. You know, mm -hmm. it's nothing worse than you got something that smells good, but it's just like, oh, I, I can't even let that burn for too long because it smells just too much you know mm -hmm. so i got like certain scents um like have a white sage lavender i really like that one um because that one definitely makes me feel more relaxed and in the i could go to sleep to that one um that comes in both the candle version and wax melts so okay. for those people because i do not recommend do not <laughs> go to sleep with your candle burning um, so wax melts, you know, it just is like a heating source. You don't necessarily have to have the tea light kind. You can just kind of drop them on there and it's electric. Mm -hmm. um, and so then I have that one. I have my, my biggest number one seller is the orange peach nectar. Um, that one's also a really good one. That one is one of my top ones. And then oh, the this the website the, is up there already, Bonda. That's it on the screen. Yeah. So this is like the 10 ounce candle. Um, but, you know, us as women, we, we kind of like to go through, we go through the day and we do everything most of the time. You know, not saying the men don't, because men like their baths too. <laughs> you well, know. Some um, like to stink. Wow. <laughs> I said some like to stink. That's true. That's, that's another true. issue. That's <laughs> another Crusty issue. Crusty the clown. Crusty the clown. <laughs> well, that's just nasty. Crusty that's... the clown and stuff. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that would be disgusting. Um, but, you know, some people like candles too. So um, I do have candles that are scents that are necessarily, uh, that are catered to a man. Um, I have the smooth gentleman or the classy man. Those things are also not mm -hmm. overwhelming, you know. It doesn't give you that uh, old man with brute smell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Brute by favorite taste. <laughs> but you know, old man with the brute, not the brute now. Mm -mm. So mm -hmm. it's just something nice, and it's 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 um it's mellow. It's a okay. nice mellow scent. That's good. Okay. Okay, so um, what I want to say is I want to say to Bath and Body um, Works, if you are looking for an African-American product like candles and body washes and things like that, body salts and stuff, this young lady is an African-American lady and she does have the product. So there's her website on the screen. So you don't have an excuse to why you have not reached out to this young lady. Okay. This bath body works. Do not put products on the shelf that cover the products up with African American prints well, and things like that when it's really not an African American person that's selling the product. These are products from an actual African American young lady. So bath body works. Here you go. Okay. Right. I'm available. 